This is the 10 minute stability ball core workout. You're going to need your mat in open space and your stability ball. Why we love to use the stability ball for our core is because it forces us to adapt to these minor movements, this variation that turns on the small muscles inside our body. Those muscles from the inside out help us find strength. Your first exercise, come down to the floor. We're gonna lay over the stability ball, putting it on our stomach, knees in the ground, toes dug in the floor so that we have a place to push against. We're gonna extend our arms out and we're just gonna create a Y with our body. So thumbs are up to the best of our ability. Nice controlled movement. So we let our arms come down under control. We squeeze the thumbs up and back. We're not arching. So I don't want you to arch your back up here on this movement. We're just gonna keep our trunk still. Start to build a little bit of core temperature. It's gonna rise. You're gonna feel your heat start to go up. We're trying to find more space. Really squeeze the upper shoulders, lift those thumbs up from the top of your back. A couple more seconds, pause for a second, relax. The next movement is going to be what we would call a hyperextension. So once again, we're gonna be over the ball. Be sure that we have your toes dug into the ground so you have something to push against. From there, lightly put our hands on the back of our head. We're not gonna pull our neck down, heads in line with the spine. We're gonna bridge up just a touch, our knees off the floor, and then we're gonna pull back, let the arms fall. Come up, let them fall. So here, we find tension in the upper back. We're pulling from mid back to upper, opening those arms up to the side, pulling the elbows apart where you feel comfortable. Small breaths, and you should start to feel a little burn in the upper back, in your shoulders, no pain. This is really quiet, really controlled, really still movement. Some of the best for our core and our trunk. We're gonna rest, we're gonna transition into our next exercise, which is going to be a bird dog. So we're gonna come forward on the ball just a little bit, putting it under our body, right under our belly button. Hands will be on the ground, feet will be on the ground. Find your balance here. We're gonna raise opposite hand, opposite leg. So we'll set that up. So I'm gonna push my left hand and right foot in the floor. I'm raising my right arm, left hand. Pause, return. This is a small movement. So the physio ball, this Swiss ball here, is trying to move in various directions. And if I'm off, even just a little bit in our movement, it's gonna roll away from us. That's gonna force our core to adapt to that movement. And that's reactive training for our core. It finds the deep muscles, extend that heel away from your fingertips. Now we're really gonna try to reach and get length. We're gonna push this movement a little bit. It's not a big arch in the back, and we're gonna rest. From here, we're gonna move into waking up our hips. So we're gonna move into a hip thrust. So setting, setting the ball up, we're gonna put our back on the ball this time. Allow your spine to roll with the ball so it just mirrors your spine. Let your tail drop, hands lightly by your head, supporting it. And we're gonna drop our hips, and then we're gonna drive up so that that ball is underneath those shoulder blades. Pause. We drop the head, moves with the trunk. Just watch my head move in line with my trunk. That protects the spine, keeps the integrity of the movement together. Good squeeze at the top, pushing my feet through the floor squeezing my glutes, my backside, like I'm trying to make a fist with them at the top. Once again, slow, steady movement. Just be quiet. Feel those deep, deep muscles just responding to the movement. Last rep, squeeze up, pause for a second, and rest. Last movement here, we're gonna switch it around into what we call a rollout. So we'll be on our knees, forearms on the ball. You're gonna roll your body out and away from you. Your elbows will leave the body. We come flat out, hold, pull the elbows back to your midline. Come out, squeeze the glutes. You only go out as far as you feel comfortable. As soon as your back starts to feel any tension or bow at all, that's too far. You just shorten your range of motion. So we push out. Lock it in, strong through the side of our body and our lats.
strong in our abs. Squeeze the backside to protect the low back. Pull back to center. Extend, you're trying to find a little more length each time. Pull back, last one. Drive out. Pause, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the lats. Pull it home. Excellent. We're gonna crank it up just a little bit. We're gonna get up onto our hands on the ball and we're gonna create a top push-up plank. So I'm gonna show you what this will look like. So we'll be here. If this is where you need to stay and where you're comfortable, we stack those shoulder blades, squeeze your glutes, lock in. So come in with me. Fingers pointing out a little bit. That'll protect your wrists. Stay right here. If you feel like you can find this and we want you to be safe, at any time you can put a knee down, regain composure, and come back in. If you're good here, let's challenge it a little bit. We march up and tap back. Up. And I'm doing my best not to let the hips slide either way. March up, tap and return. Strong arms in the ball. Long from your head to your heels. Reach across, reach across. One more time. A little quicker. Up, up, over. Hold on, you're almost there. Over and rest. Knees to the ground. Let that core release some of that tension. We're gonna work hamstrings and glutes with a hamstring curl. So we're gonna put our feet on the ball, heels right in the middle, palms down, ridge up, squeeze the glutes, find home base first. So hips extended, tension here and here. You feel good there and you've got your balance. Let's pull the heels in toward the body, return out, strong plank again. Glutes on, hamstrings on, pull in, Turn. And we'll just continue this movement. You should feel it in your hamstring and your backside. If you'd like to make that a little more challenging, you can pull in with two, go out with one. Pull in with two, go out with one. Keep your body under control, manage that straight line. Get a few more reps. Last one, pull and return. Beautiful, it's a good pace. You're digging down, you're finding those small muscles and our hips, shoulders, trunk. That's what creates the center of all of our movement, our injury prevention on our back, balls under our shoulders, hands together to twist. Keep your hips down, gonna roll a little bit to the side. You should feel the opposite leg, gain some strength. We're gonna come across. You can challenge it, go a little further if you can, or you just stay nice and smooth managing the instability of that ball, rotating from side to side, disassociating, we call it, separating your shoulders from your hips a bit. Keep them pegged, keep those hips up. Should feel your glute. Roll, challenge a little more, and rest. One of my favorites, stir the pot. So we did the movement with a rollout earlier, it's very similar to that. Hands, forearms are on the ball. We're gonna push that out to where we feel we can control our spine and we're locked in. So find that place for yourself. Once there, small circles. What's most important here, strength through your lats and your shoulders, smaller circles to start. And if you feel good and you can control your spine and keep your glutes fired, you can extend it further away from the body. I'm gonna stay this way just a little bit longer, and then let's rotate. You may have to readjust the touch, and let's stir that pot, pot go sideways. We're letting our body roll out a bit. Pull back home. Don't lose your spine for bigger circles. Keep that locked in and rest. That is such a great exercise for all the core, shoulder. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. Last one, we're just gonna do a little bit of a reverse crunch. We're gonna take the ball in a creative way. We're gonna put it behind us. Squeeze it with the inside of our hands to create an anchor in our upper body. From there, we're just gonna bring one leg up, return, other leg up, return, double leg. Squeeze, return. To make this more challenging, you can take your opposite heel, bring it off the ground so that it never touches but you can't surrender the spine for that. So it's here, return, squeeze that ball. 
Not too much, but put tension there. Double, return. Single, single, double. Stay in integrity, stay in this movement. One more time, single, single, squeeze the ball, pull, feel the burn, and rest. That's 10 minutes. Stability ball, core workout, small muscles. They're the ones that set up effective movement, a safe spine, injury prevention, posture, all the things you need in your everyday life.